Hey everybody. Today I want to talk about why it is so difficult to grow plants in hard water. Uh, my regular viewers may remember I shot a video about this recently and it turned out I was completely wrong about something I was saying in that video. We may talk about that a little later in this video, but I'm not going to go over that now, mainly because I don't want to put that bad information out there again. Um, but I got some really good feedback on that video that got me looking down more of the correct path and I was able to do a little bit of tinkering and it finally came together for me. I was able to make that uh, last connection that for a long time I've been really struggling uh, to grasp. I don't know how it works for you, but for me something can be fairly simple and yet I just cannot grasp it until that last little bit of information finally clicks into place for me and then suddenly it all makes sense. And even that last little bit of information might be a simple bit of information, but for some reason it just never comes together for me until it does. And that's what finally happened when I understood uh, what's going on with plants in hard water. And it has more to do with the pH than it does the, the hardness. In fact, it has everything to do with the pH and more or less nothing to do with the hardness. And that's where I was getting confused. The thing that finally clicked into place for me was the realization that calcium and carbonates are different things. Calcium carbonate is a combination of two things. It's not a thing by itself. And that's where my confusion always came in. When you experience hard water in nature, it's typically hard because it's been running over calcium carbonate or limestone, uh, Texas Holy Rock. There's a lot of different forms that calcium carbonate will take in nature. Uh, even uh, shells of animals will put calcium carbonate in water. So the calcium is making the water harder, but it's the carbonate that's affecting the pH. If you were to take water that has a very low pH and you only added calcium without adding the carbonate, you'd make the water harder but the pH wouldn't come up. And that's just a very rare circumstance in nature. Typically when you're making water harder in nature, it's because of calcium carbonate. So they go up hand in hand. As the water gets harder, the pH gets higher. And I've always just conflated those two. I've always thought about hard water as having high pH. And that's not necessarily true at all. In fact, I did some experiments where I found out that I can make water off the charts hard and still have a pH of six and not affect the pH at all. So that was the key to my finally, you know, grasping what's going on with plants and hard water. It's not the hardness because I've put excessive amounts of calcium and magnesium in my plants. I've actually over uh, done it with my plants and they, they absorbed that just fine. They were able to absorb too much of the water hardness and it actually burned them up a little bit. So it's not the hardness that's affecting the plants at all. It's the pH. When plants are, are absorbing water through their roots, whether they're in an aquarium or whether they're in the ground or a flower pot or whatever, they're pulling in micronutrients and dissolved minerals and zinc and magnesium and all that kind of stuff. And those minerals have to be soluble for the plant to be able to absorb them and use them and they fall in and out of solubility based on the pH of the, the soil or the water. And if you look at a chart of where the main nutrients that just about every plant in the world is going to be using, if you look at the chart of where they fall in and out of solubility, some of them are lower, you know, it's between five and seven, and some of them are between, you know, seven and nine. Most of them, however, fall right in that sweet spot between six and seven and up to about seven and a half, you're still doing okay. Most nutrients that plants need will still be soluble at a pH of around seven and a half. By the time you get to a pH of eight, almost all the nutrients that most plants need have been blocked out. So again, it's not the hardness that's making any difference at all to your water. If you've got hard water, but it's got a pH of six and a half or seven, your plants will do fine. It's the pH that's blocking out the nutrients that are preventing your plants from getting what they need. And they're basically starving. Even if you're putting additives in there, you can put your micronutrients in there. If the pH is too high, it's just gonna block them out and you're not accomplishing anything. 
Uh, I did speak to some people or I got some comments from people that had hard water and it even had a high pH, but they had deep substrate and they had rooted planted tanks. And if they check the pH where the roots are is six and a half or something like that. So again, it's the pH where the roots are that the nutrients are soluble that the plant can actually use them. If you were floating a plant in that same tank, the floating plants probably would not do well with rare exception. I'm sure there's some really tough plants out there. Duckweed can probably grow in anything. Um, but most plants are not going to do well in water that is really hard and has a pH of eight or something like that, even if you've got rooted plants that are doing well. And that's because the roots are down where the pH is low enough that you've got solubility for you know all the nutrients you need now i'm probably missing something somewhere again you know i'm working this out as i go along and i always get good feedback from everybody i always appreciate that so i'd really be interested in hearing all your thoughts uh, and opinions especially if you've got more experience than me uh, with keeping planted tanks or if you've got experience with high ph or or if you've got one of those odd situations where you've got hard water and low ph i'd love to hear anything uh, about any of those kind of circumstances but to my understanding hard water is not what is affecting your plants it's the ph it's just so common that hard water also has a ph of eight or 8.4 or whatever because we've got aragonite or texas holy rock or something like that it's the calcium and the carbonate that you're putting in the tank that it's the carbonate that's doing it. It's the carbonate that's raising your pH and that's what's preventing your plants from growing. It's not the excessive amounts of calcium, which is where your hardness comes from. So again, I think I've said it all. I've probably said it several times over at this point, um, but again, that's about it. So if you've got any information that would help me or I'm wrong about something, by all means, let me know. I'm always open to that. Uh, and I will always, you know, learn more and shoot more videos. That's what I'm here for. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you real soon in the next one.